Good morning, it's Jim in beautiful Beaverton, Oregon. Well, it is the uh, 15th of October, a beautiful day again. Guys, we're having great weather here, it's just crazy good. So we thought we would film the last in our series on building a uh, aquaponic greenhouse, uh, which is plumbing and tanks. So let us begin with the tanks, the fish tanks are over here. And we already know from the last one that they're setting on the ground uh, what you should do if you're going to set your tanks is flatten the area out using a hand tamper and sand, uh, getting the whole thing as flat as you can get it. I would bring in sand is really good to flatten because it's easy to move around and level and you can get the whole thing nice and level and tamp down as hard as you can get it. And then you're just basically going to set blocks in the places, these are just standard block set. Uh, and then the top block is a 16 inch uh, paver. So uh, obviously you have to be level, but the reason these are set at different levels is because it takes 12 inches here to make this turn here. So if you set them endo like that and you come out the top, they would, the whole thing would be a foot and a half longer. So that's why we did that. Uh, anyhow, that's how we set these tanks. Let's real quick, uh, turn around to the left and down. There is the sump. There's two things we know about the sump. One, it's at the bottom, and two, it has the pump. So everything pumps out of the sump, drains back into it. So there we have it. Now, let's uh, let's go away across to this side. This is the uh, grow beds. Uh, they sit on uh, piers and then a block, and then they're running on a rail. And the, the rail goes to rail, you know, all the way down, and they sit on those rails. The reason they do that is because with a uh, flood and drain bed, the uh, bell siphon has to go out the bottom. The drains on these, we'll talk about later, is out the top. So the height they're at is counter height, which is just wonderful. I would do that every time. It means everything you do in any of these beds, basically you're just, uh, you're standing there like you're working at the kitchen table. Uh, before we go into the, well, let's go into the plumbing. Now, these, these uh, are coming out of the pump through these lines right here you see in front of you. Each one, one different to each tank. That's imperative. So you run a line to there with a valve, line to here with a valve, and a line to here with a valve. And so what happens now on either end of the drain is up high, right there. So if for whatever reason the water quits coming in, if you turn it off or a pipe breaks or whatever, the water can only come down to the bottom of there. These tanks will not drain. And so obviously you would save your fish. Uh, anyhow, let's go over to this side. Now on this side, oh, and then of course they just drain. You know, and the only amount that comes out is the amount that goes in. So if you turn the water off, it quits coming out all back to the sump. Now the sump also pumps this way, uh, under here, and you have a set of valves. This is the pressure side, one valve for each one of these grow beds. So if I want to turn the water off to a grow bed, I just select the right valve and turn it off. Always running in, you see here, always running in, never stop. And when it goes out, it goes out on the bell side. So the, uh, in conclusion, the other thing about this system, well, there's two more things. One, all of the pipes are run on Unistrut. This is a piece of Unistrut. It's, it's everywhere in industrial life. They run all electrical conduit and things on it. Uh, you'll see it everywhere. This is a two inch Unistrut strap. So. Basically, you run Unistrut all along wherever you've got pipes. You'll see it there. And you'll see if it, it, it turns around, uh, it's actually standing up above the deck so high you can be pretty ingenious with how uh, you put it in. So that will, you know, that will seriously change your plumbing problem. Uh, all of the regular piping in here is Schedule 40, standard plumbing pipe. The bulkhead fittings, which go through the tank, are Schedule 80. 
if uh, I would recommend you do that, it just makes it so much less likely to uh, have a leak. So anyhow, uh, in conclusion, the other thing about this system is any one of these tanks or this tank can be turned off, separated from the system, drained, hauled out of here in, in an hour or less. And it doesn't affect any of the others. If I want to clean this one out, I can clean it out and the rest of them just keep running. All I do is turn off the water. The same with the fish tanks. Uh, I've done it to all of them already. You just take them out of the system. Uh, so anyhow, that's all I got to say about plumbing, I think, and setting tanks. In conclusion, uh, I'd like to invite you. My wife and myself have started a new YouTube channel called uh, With It Retirees. With It Retirees. I knew I was going to forget that. <laughs> Excuse me. We only have one video up. So if you would like to watch it, it's going to have a lot of overlap with this channel. It's geared at uh, retired people. Uh, so if you can, uh, please come and see that. We're going to have a lot of things like this, but also some arts and crafts and more uh, that kind of thing. So uh, please give it a look. That's all. We'll see you next week.